the Gambia Center for Victims of Human Rights Violations organized its annual general meeting on Saturday at a local hotel in Senegambia. The event witnessed the presentation of the center's annual activity for 2022 and financial statements from April 2019 to March 2021. The meeting also saw the election of a new board of directors to replace the current board whose term had expired. In her opening statement, Yadi Kunjai, the chairperson of Tango, advised the Victim Center to register to be Tango. Though the Victim Center is not yet a member of Tango, which I hope will be regularized by the next board, as our membership is now open to all civil society organizations. It was a shared vision that brought you all together. I hope and pray this vision is still clear and sharp as you assemble here today. The attainment of this vision must transcend your current challenges and unite you to become a more formidable movement. CSOs have different mandate, but we are all here to engage in advocacy and offer alternative policies for government, private sector, and other institutions. We deliver services to the poor, the marginalized, and vulnerable. In his keynote statement, Sheriff Mohamed Kijera, the outgoing chairman of the board of directors of the Victim Center, called on the government to fulfill its promises to implement the Truth, Reconciliation, and Reparations Commission recommendations and the government's white paper in an impartial manner. He also urged the government to complete payments of reparations to the victims. We are calling on the government to table the bill, the reparation bill before the deputies at the National Assembly so that the reparation commission can be established to cater for the welfare and the general well-being of the victims, to pay reparations to victims. Victims are in their need of help and support from the government. We have lots of victims that have issues, serious issues of medical, uh, m medical attention that need attention from the government. We also have victims that need support for their livelihood. So for the government to honor its, its promises and its responsibility to pay rep reparations to victims is an urgent matter to be addressed. Adam Ajala, the national coordinator of the Victim Center, says that the third annual general meeting of the Victim Center provides an opportunity for victims to discuss and share their common interests. The third annual general meeting gives us the opportunity to discuss and exchange common interests of the Victim Center and to review progress made in the implementation of the program activities. It also affords us the opportunity to be informed of the various activities, including audited accounts of the Victim Center during the period under review, as well as to elect new board of directors. Over the past years, the Victim Center, CSOs, and other partners have played a pivotal role in enhancing, in enlightening the victims' community and the public at large on issues surrounding the transitional justice process in the Gambia. The VC has continuously made efforts to review its working relationships and improve partnership with relevant institutions to enhance and promote human rights and protect, human, and protect victims of human rights violations in the Gambia. The Gambia Center for Victims of Human Rights Violations is a special interest group of families of victims and supporters seeking justice for their loved ones who were killed, disappeared, wrongfully imprisoned and tortured during Jamis AFPRC era in the Gambia. Their mission is to advocate for truth, justice and reconciliation for all victims whose rights were violated by the former regime. The center was formally launched in April 2017 following extensive consultation with the Gambia government, civil society and other NGOs. Reporting for Kirfatu, I am Farisilla.